Welcome back folks, the channel where I share pretty much anything. Um, today we're on episode 3 of getting our electric scooter running and we're still working on the battery pack. Uh, if you saw my previous video, I we drew a schematic of how we're going to hook everything up. So that's the goal today, is getting things hooked up. Um, we're not going to close everything and put it into the scooter. We're going to bench test it here. And we might run some cables down to the scooter down there or find something else to load up the battery. So um, let's bring everything out and lay it down here. It's the battery pack. Okay, so this is the new BMS. God, those cameras been holding me up a lot today. Uh, we've had one camera go down because of the, for some reason, the uh, battery bank decided to shut down or time out or something. So, yeah, camera died there. And then uh, I noticed it died again. So I quickly ran around to the screen and um, there was a message there. The camera's overheated. Oh, so anyway, so we're going to have to do a few voiceovers here. I'm just taping the connector against the pack here, stop it moving around so that I can run the wires and get the uh, lengths correct. Um, let me show you where I've got to while we lost power. Just connecting the taps to the BMS connector. Uh, not too many to go now. Let's carry on. Now what I think I'll do is just might put some cable ties along there. I'm just going to get some cable ties. Okay, now the B minus. It's going to go to the negative of the batteries. So let's get that in place. So if we look at our original BMS here, um, hopefully you can see that uh, we've got the three wires that go to the negative like that. Um, the only problem with this one here, we can't come straight into here three times, so we're going to have to go there. But right now, I just want to run the um, scooter up, so I'm just going to go sh straight into the middle there. I potentially could cut that shorter and put three wires off there like that, you know. But right now, let's just get this thing happening. It's got some horrible film on this wire. It's just trying to burn it off. Let's improve that a little bit later on. P plus, it's going to go off to the motor. And it's going to go to the charger so what I need is some long wire to go down to the scooter so this is the connector that's caused all the problems that goes into the battery that goes into the battery supposed to this goes into the charger that goes to the battery but also that can go to the battery not supposed to go to there and you'll blow it up so we're gonna get rid of this stupid thing and um, put something else there god that's a nice horn there man radio we're back to voiceover lost audio again what you see me doing here is um, adding a different connector to the one I just cut off and threw away this blue connector was given to me by a friend I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with that because somehow I need to um, match it up to the removable battery 
it would be nice to just drop the battery in and it would just make connection rather than you know physically manhandling it connecting the connectors and then putting the battery down so we'll see how we go with that right now we're just trying to get that connector on there and run a long wire up to the battery pack so that we can uh, finally test this thing okay we got our connector already long wire on there ready to run up to the bench and to the battery pack so let's get connecting that up uh, what I'm doing here is I've pulled uh, one of the cables from the old BMS system it's got an inline fuse so I'm just going to grab that fuse and um, put it in line with the wires going down to the scooter I would rather have gone with the amperage much lower for the initial test but yeah I just don't have anything else on hand so what there appears to be a 40 amp so I might actually drop that down at some point we'll do some tests ride it around measure the current that sort of thing and then we'll make a decision with the wires running from the scooter up to the battery pack and now connecting the, uh, the positive feed with the inline fuse connecting that to the battery plus and the other side will go to the BMS So at the end of the day the BMS is what will control power getting to the scooter and um, and it should shut everything down when the batteries get below a level that can harm the batteries so it's protecting the batteries there you just saw me draw the fuse into our circuit diagram that we created in uh, episode 2 got our wires running down to the scooter connected up to the battery pack and um, I'm just doing some checks I do not have the connected down by the scooter I don't actually have that plugged into the scooter so it's just laying there on the floor right now going nowhere just doing some voltage checks um, looking at voltage feed going down to the scooter and um, I should actually read nothing because uh, we don't have the taps plugged into the top of the BMS we'll get to that very soon and once we plug in those taps uh, we should get a live feed coming out of the, those two wires as you can see there I'm just being super cautious because I don't want to blow anything up it took you know Four weeks or so to get this BMS in from China again cautious me taping up anything that can potentially short you'll see me there looking at some of the data that's come in with a battery management system and it's saying to do some checks on the connector which essentially is measuring uh, each of the cells remember these eight cells in parallel there so if we measure each of those at the connector um, the BMS will start feeding voltage to those wires going down to the scooter if those voltages are between 3 volts and 4.1 volts according to the paperwork here so you'll see me in a minute um, start measuring all of those and uh, yes I think we were at something like 3.5 3.6 volts which is within range and basically it says here if it is within range then we should get voltage getting fed down to the scooter once we plug all those connectors in so just measuring the voltages 
across the cells at the connector everything looks good and now I'm doing some voltage checks and making sure that uh, we're getting some power feed onto the wires that run down to the scooter and they all come alive once I get those connectors for the taps into the BMS so very happy at this point she's a thumbs up you will have noticed there's two connectors for the taps um, no special reason for that except that uh, they probably can't find one single connector of the right number of connections so they've used two connectors there and you'll notice I pulled one of the connectors out and then put it back in just to see if the voltage feed going down to the scooter um, you know comes and goes when it's removed we should get nothing when we plug everything back in it should fire up again which it does so again very happy at this point Okay folks, I think we might have success here. We've got the battery all connected up as per our diagram that we put together in episode number two. We've wired it up exactly like this except put a fuse right there. Um, took a bit of a risk, it's a 40 amp fuse in there. I would have my initial test I would have liked to have put something much smaller um, the wires there are a bit light for the job but it is only a test I want that there and the bike down here let's swing this around um, I've got the key there let's turn the key on got three modes uh, I don't know what you call them like economy drive and sport mode I suppose so that's all going horns going uh, all we need to do now is um, get it charging now what I would like to do right now actually is just let this run until it until those uh, batteries get down to around 3.6 actually it's going to be 3 volts according to our data sheet I would have personally liked it to have shut off a little bit higher than that um, to protect the battery but that's okay and I've actually been out there this morning would you believe it it's I don't know more than 10 hours later and the scooter is actually still running trying to get the batteries down and shut off um, that would have been an advantage had I have got the Bluetooth unit because the Bluetooth BMS I would have been able to Bluetooth, Bluetooth it to my phone not only would I be able to look at all the data and the individual cell voltages and things I would have been able to set the cutoff point and, um, and also the point where it stops charging the batteries but that's okay and what makes it even more okay is the fact that the voltage is actually aligning with what I'm seeing on the um, instrument cluster. So we'll try and get a shot of that. It's just after nine o'clock the next morning and I've come back into the garage and check this out. It's still running. So 